David vs. Goliath Hollywood edition, here we go. A brand new movie is making Hollywood freak out. The movie is called Sound of Freedom and it opened up on July 4th. It was a huge financial success. It made more than $50 million since its debut, making it one of the top 25 most successful films of the year so far. Per screen, it did better than the new Insidious movie and the new Indiana Jones movie. But here's why this is such a big deal. Sound of Freedom was originally completed in 2018. Then Disney acquired 20th Century Fox, and the following year, they shelved the film. Then it was picked up by a studio called Angel Studio. And if that name sounds familiar, it's because Angel Studios is the company behind the unbelievably successful series called The Chosen. The film stars Jim Caviezel. Now, you may remember him. He's the actor that played Jesus in Mel Gibson's The Passion of the Christ. He plays a guy named Tim Ballard. Tim Ballard is a former Homeland Security agent and founder of Operation Underground Railroad. And this guy goes around conducting sting operations to rescue children from child traffickers. What could be a better story? It's all based on a real deal. This guy, Tim Ballard. But here's where the story gets really interesting. The left is so freaked out by the success of the movie, and I think it's powerful message that calls attention to child trafficking, that it's been attacking it. Seriously, considering all the crap and mind-numbing content that comes out of Hollywood, this is the movie they pick on? A headline in Rolling Stone said the following. This is literally the headline. Sound of Freedom is a superhero movie for dads with brain worms. The QAnon tinged thriller about child trafficking is designed to appeal to the conscience of a conspiracy addled boomer. QAnon? Brain worms? Where did that come from? I mean, these folks don't even have a problem with the new Barbie movie. They're riveted by it, and they have a problem with this movie? Well, it doesn't matter. The left-wing talking points are out, and the media, man, are they falling in line. CNN got in on the action, of course. They had a guest on who parroted the whole QAnon talking point. Take a look. These films are created out of moral panics. They're created out of bogus statistics. They're created out of fear. And with something like Sound of Freedom, it specifically is looking at QAnon concepts of these child trafficking rings that are run by the high-level elites and only people like Tim Ballard and only people like Jim Caviezel and by extension, only people like the ticket buyer can help bring these trafficking rings down. This is nuts. Child trafficking is real. It's a fact. More than 500,000 children a year go missing in the U.S. alone. And 50% of those victims are between the ages of 12 and 15. Globally, 27% of human trafficking victims are children. This is a very real issue. In 2014, CBS News actually praised the work of Tim Ballard. Take a look. Last weekend, police broke up a major sex trafficking ring in Colombia, which has become a destination for tourists looking for sex with boys and girls. The police had help from an American who went undercover to rescue the children, and Elaine Quijano met him. Yeah, that was Scott Pelley, Scott Pelley from CBS News, praising his work. Now, all these folks on the left are saying that the movie is depicting his heroic actions as QAnon adjacent. What? This movie is a success because it's very well done and it has an extremely powerful message, one that we should all be able to get behind. Ending child trafficking should not be a partisan issue. These whack jobs are attacking it because they're embarrassed. They got their clocks cleaned by an independent studio and audiences love the movie. They passed on it. They shelved it, but America loves it. These folks in Hollywood and the media are the same folks, by the way, that shielded a person like Harvey Weinstein. So I don't know that I really care what they think about a movie. But here are my big takeaways. Angel Studios has shown first through The Chosen and now through The Sound of Freedom two very important things. Number one, there is an audience for this type of content. And number two, probably more important, that there is a way to go around Hollywood, crowdfunding these projects to ensure that we have good, solid content. So here's my advice. Go see Sound of Freedom. 
and keep your eyes on Angel Studios because my guess is there is more to come. Well, if you enjoyed this video, click the like button, subscribe and ring the bell to make sure that you never miss another video.